Hello again. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about plugins in WordPress and kind of what a plugin is. Um, I'm not really going to go into specific plugins, quite simply because there are there are hundreds, and you can go to WordPress and um, there's the uh, the WordPress plugin directory. There's actually a link at the bottom to get more plugins. Um, basically, what what does a plugin do, right? Um, think of a plugin as uh, uh, some of their CMSs or content management systems call them uh, extensions or components or modules uh, but basically it is something that you attach to your site that increases its functionality or the features so for example there are two that come with your platform okay one is uh, hello dolly and the other is Akismet and uh, the Akismet basically checks your comments against the Akismet web service to see if they look like spam or not and I'm just reading to you what WordPress says you need a WordPress API key to use this there's a link to get one you can review the spam it catches under comments we talked about comments earlier and how this is going to be probably the most dynamic section of your site because it's one that users influence it's not one that you have direct control over like posts and pages and links and uh, basically uh, when you click plugins and the installed link will be the default page that shows and it's going to show you all the plugins that you have and then over here you have an option to activate the plugin so the hello dolly plugin basically is a random uh, word rotator that when activated you will randomly see a lyric from hello dolly in the upper right of your admin screen on every page okay and again like I said I'm not really going to go into specific plugins because there are hundreds and each one is different each one has its own specific functionality it adds to your site so I would encourage you to when you're in your plugins go to the WordPress plugin directory and check it out um, because there you know there's 3880 plugins okay to just to give you an idea of how vast it is um, but anything from you know helping you collect statistics on your site so here's one wordpress.com stats you can have a simple concise stat with no additional load on your surfer by plugging into the wordpress.com stat system and um, you've got all these popular categories over here you know you've got sidebar plugins, comment plugins, uh, images plugins. Uh, these are all things to help you manage images, for example, or comments. Uh, comments is a big one. Um, subscribe to comments. It allows people to apparently uh, subscribe and opt in. That's very valuable. So as you can see, you can spend a lot of time checking out the plugin directory, but that's where it comes into play. And it's a lot like a template in that really all you gotta do is install it into your and actually it gives you the directory right here that you need to install it into okay it's very very user friendly and it's in the plugins directory that's if you want to install it manually otherwise you can click on the add new and when you do that you can actually browse your system for the plugin and then hit install now and of course it's letting you know if you have the plugin in a zip format because again every plugin is different and the download is probably going to be in a zip format file um, you can upload it here and it should unzip it for you and when you're on this install page or add new pay attention to these other sublinks at the top you got start page you got featured um, which will actually show you featured very cool plugins that obviously have a high rating and are very popular by the community and look how easy it is you just click install uh, it will also show you popular the newest and recently updated okay uh, so for example here's a here's a page SEO plugin here is a optimizer plugin SEO comment paging plugin so again as you can see it's been a lot of time here uh, there's a hundred and sixty two pages okay of this um, basically that's what a plugin does and it's worth spending some time finding ones that you want and can use on your site for the more advanced users you can actually go to edit and then when you do it will show the available plugins that you can edit 
And of course we have the Akasmet and the Hello Dolly, which is what was on our earlier list. And again, this is a little bit more for for advanced users because here we are in code again, okay? Um, but this is just really a testament to the flexibility of this platform. Not only can you add all these thousands of plugins to your site to increase its functionality all by itself, but if you really, really want to get specific and uh, tweak it uh, to some really specific needs, you obviously have the option to. Or if you need to hire someone to do it for you, it's all right here for them. Um, again, this alleviates the need to actually go into your cPanel to edit anything. You can edit the code of the plugin right here. So you know, this is for the Akasmet. If I click Hello Dolly, editing Hello PHP, it lets me know that this is inactive at the time because I haven't activated it. Um, but again, here's all the code um, for the Hello Dolly. So again, this is more of an advanced feature, but um, again, uh, it's there if you need it. Most of the time, you're going to be just fine with the default functions that any one plugin may offer. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really easy to install. Again, you've got a link um, at the bottom of the start page here to go to the WordPress community theme, or I'm sorry, plugin directory. And that link right there will take you to it. So that's what a plugin is. It basically is something you attach to your site. You can view it like a Lego block if you want to. Um, it's basically adding on something to your site um, that your site can't do right out of the box. <clears throat> and usually a lot of plugins, if they don't add a whole separate functionality, a lot of them will just add extra and new features maybe to posts or the media manager, the links manager, the pages. So again, that's what a plugin is and it's kind of worth some time checking it out. And uh, that's going to go ahead and conclude this video. I'll see you on the next one.